Today we'll be testing the RTX 3080 in Spider-Man Remastered. So first just uh, to go over the specs, what I've got here is I've got a Core i7-12700K with 32 gigabytes of DDR4, 3600 megahertz CL18 memory. And then we've got the RTX 3080. This is the low hash rate version. And this one has the 522.25 driver installed. It's not the latest as of recording. The newer driver actually came out uh, the day before yesterday. I haven't installed it yet. So we should be able to do this with ultimate ray tracing, 4K 60 FPS high graphical settings with ray tracing very high. As you can see, we've got the 3080 and a 12700K. Let's get right into it. Right, so the first uh, resolution we're gonna run at is uh, 1080p. I've got uh, nothing else on here, no upscaling. We've got anti-aliasing as TAA. And then at uh, the graphic settings, we are using the very high preset. I don't think there's, uh, there's nothing higher. So we are just going to use the presets for this benchmark just uh, so it's easier to replicate run to run. Right, for our benchmark, we are just going to cruise along the river. Uh, that's just the easiest to uh, replicate the runs. A game like this is pretty difficult to benchmark consistently. So there might be some difference in the numbers. Those would just be run to run variances as I won't be able to replicate everything exactly. Right, so then if you have a look at the top left hand corner there, we've got our GPU listed there, the VRAM usage, the CPU usage, memory usage, as well as the frames per second. And then also we've got the average the one percent low and the 0.1 percent lows as well as the frame time graph now the one percent and point one percent lows should indicate if there's any stuttering going on but if we do miss it with that counter we can see it in the frame time graph right so i'm just going to swing around here uh, a lot of the benchmarkers they they actually run around in town technically i don't really agree with that because uh spider-man is a spider-man and what you do the most is you swing around and fight crime and you spend very little time on the ground anyway all right so i'm just going to swing around here just get a feel for the game you can see that we are pretty much uh, very cpu bound here uh, gpu usage is 70 60 to 70 percent uh, ideally you'd want that uh, above uh, 90 percent but then again, this is at uh, 1080p with uh, ray tracing disabled. So it wouldn't make sense that we are CPU bound at this resolution with this graphics card. We are still getting a, a very good experience. We've got uh, an average of about 132 frames per second. And then we have the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows at uh, 65 and uh, 78 respectively. So it's not, uh, it's not bad. I just want to show you if we actually go up this building here, you do see the frames per second increase quite a bit right so on top of this building here looking out uh, over new york city we get about 200 frames per second gp usage sitting at 71 percent still uh, it's just because there's a uh, very little detail to render at this distance the closer you get to the ground obviously you you get ai involved and uh, there's a lot more detail to to render but this is still a high refresh rate experience right so let's see what happens if we enable ray tracing all right we're going to enable ray tracing or ray trace reflections that's the only form of ray tracing that this game supports and we are going to put it on very high for the resolution and very high for the geometry i'm just going to reset that counter and as you can see our gpu usage actually climbed uh, that makes sense because we've now put more load on the gpu there have been quite a few videos surrounding uh, spider-man with uh, ray tracing using a little bit more cpu uh, i think they might have changed it in a recent uh, patch i actually also saw that as well we are still cpu bound we are not uh, gpu bound in any way or form yeah uh, and our performance actually decreased a little bit more than i expected i mean we are seeing at 80 frames per second here dropping down to the 70s ray tracing is uh, intensive but at this resolution i didn't expect it to be as intensive you know, losing about half the the frame rate here let's see if the lss can save us so spider-man supports various methods of upscaling uh, igti dlss mdfsr intel's xess but we are just going to use uh, dlss for this one otherwise this video might be two hours long so we're going to use the the quality which is the highest quality uh, setting for dlss so just looking around the the deterioration in image quality is very noticeable i wouldn't uh, recommend 
enabling DLSS at 1080p. This just doesn't uh, look very nice. We didn't gain much. We are still uh, between 70 and 100 frames per second. So DLSS helped us uh, very little here. And that makes sense because now the game is rendered at a lower internal resolution, which technically puts more load on the CPU. And seeing that we were CPU bound to begin with, we wouldn't gain much from using DLSS. The 0.1% load number there, that's just from me applying the settings. So we can just uh, restart the, the counter here and we can try and swing around a little bit more. So just from swinging around a little bit, uh, the image quality doesn't look good. The performance isn't great. So ray tracing with the LSS at 1080p with the 3080, I would advise against it. Right, let's see what we can do at 1440p. Right, and we're back and we are now at 1440p, still on the very high preset with ray tracing disabled as well as upscaling. There's no upscaling applied. It's going to restart the numbers here and uh, down we go. Right, so we are getting more or less um, the same frame rate as what we had at uh, 1080p. Uh, that's because we were CPU bound at 1080p and now we can see that the GPU usage has uh, gone up to uh, the mid 80s to the high 90s. So that's pretty good. Now, it is a little bit lower than at 1080p. Uh, I think we got about 130 frames per second average but i mean we we lost about 10 uh, percent the game just looks so much better and we can finally make better use of our gpu it seems like the one percent and 0.1 percent lows are pretty much the same as what they were at uh, 1080p as well even though we do have a 58 frames per second average for the 0.1 percent lows I, i'm not feeling any stuttering you probably play this game with a controller. I'm, I'm playing it with a keyboard and a mouse at the moment, finding it pretty difficult. I play the story with uh, with the controller. And when you play with a controller, the stuttering is less noticeable as well as the input latency. It's still there, but it's just not as noticeable. Right, so there we have it, an average of 120 frames per second. So let's enable ray tracing here. Right, we're now back and we're still at uh, 1440p and we've got ray tracing enabled, still very high. Uh, let's just uh, refresh the numbers here. So for, for this run, I had to restart my save. When I enabled uh, ray tracing, the game actually crashed, which is uh, pretty strange. The first time it has happened, but so it sometimes goes with ports. Right, so you can see we are still in the mid 80s to 90s pretty much the same as what we had at uh, 1080p with ray tracing enabled. Our GP usage is a little bit higher. We're sitting above 90% uh, most of the time. And once again, the lows are proportional. All right, so let's see what happens if we enable DLSS. We are going to leave it at the quality preset. Let's hope it doesn't crash again. Refresh the numbers here. Now at uh, 1440p with uh, DLSS, it, it looks a lot better than a 1080p with DLSS because now it's upscaling from 1080p to 1440p. The sharpness is a little bit uh, distracting though, especially if you have a look at the, the leaves. Even in uh, fast motion, I can definitely see quite a difference in the sharpness factor. But once again, our performance pretty much uh, stayed the same and our GP usage has dropped quite a bit. And uh, that is because, as I said, we are now rendering the game internally at uh, 1080p and then upscaling it to 1440p. So you can expect more or less the same performance as at 1080p, minus a little bit of overhead. Right, so that's it for the 1440p. We got uh, an average of uh, 93 frames per second. 1% lows and 0.1% lows are proportional, so that's pretty good. I didn't experience any major stuttering, so let's try 4K. Right, now we're at uh, 4K and the graphic setting is still on the very high preset. Ray tracing is disabled and no upscaling is applied. Right, let's uh, reset the numbers here and let's go for a swing. Right, so you can see that our GPU usage is now uh, pegged in the very high 90s, 98% there to be exact. We are getting about uh, 70 frames per second. I didn't see it uh, drop down below 60 yet, even though the 1% or 0.1% lows uh, would indicate that we aren't getting 60 frames per second all of the time, the 1% lows are close enough. 
I also haven't uh, felt any uh, sluttering, so that's pretty good. And uh, as I said, I'm playing with the keyboard and the mouse, so I'd be pretty sensitive to to stuttering. The input latency is uh, is quite a bit higher, uh, as you can imagine. You can see that the time it takes to generate a, a frame is between 10 and uh, 14 milliseconds, whereas uh, previously it was quite a bit lower than that. So that just adds to the input latency. Right, so we are getting an above 60 frames per second experience at uh, 4K. This is without ray tracing. So let's see what uh, ray tracing does to the performance. Right, once again, we've got ray traced reflections on a very high uh, for resolution detail and uh, geometry detail also very high. Remember, according to Sony's own uh, spec sheet, we should be able to max out this game with uh, this system. So I'm going to continue using everything on very high. I do believe that uh, even though they don't mention it, this was done with uh, DLSS. We just need to determine whether it's done with the DLSS quality or balanced. Right, but... Uh, Right off the bat, you can see here we are in the mid 40s. Um, this is, oh, it's quite a performance uh, loss by just enabling ray tracing. And as I said, this game only supports uh, ray traced reflections. And here's my opinion on that. You are swinging around, or fighting crime, and who's got time to look in windows for reflections? I mean, sure, they do look nice. It's uh, because the reflections are pretty accurate. If I can just uh, stick to a window, uh, you can see that the reflections are pretty accurate. There's somebody walking behind me. There's a car driving with the uh, with ray traced reflections. It's just uh, random reflections. It's not uh, truly what's uh, what's behind you. But I mean, if this is uh, worth the performance hit for you, then you can definitely enable ray tracing. Personally, if I was playing at uh, 4K, I would enable ray tracing. The performance hit is just uh, it's just too big, and it doesn't really add uh, much to the game. As I said, it's nice when you look at it up close, but when you're actually just uh, swinging around you don't really notice any of these nice reflections. That's just my personal opinion, of course. Right, so we've got an average of about uh, 51 frames per second here. Uh, you can see we are using quite a bit of RAM there. We are almost at uh, 16 gig. So if you play at uh, these settings, then 16 gigabytes of RAM might just be enough. So I'm guessing that's why they say that you require 32 gigabytes if you want to play with ray tracing ultra. Right, so this is uh, 51 frames per second average with 32 frames per second in the 1% low and 0.1% low is sitting at 22 frames per second. So let's see what we need to do to get an above 60 frames per second experience at all times. Right, just so you know, we're still at uh, 4K and the graphics still set to very high and uh, ray tracing is still set to very high. So now we're just going to enable uh, DLSS on, let's do the performance or not performance, we're going to do uh, quality as that will upscale from 1440p to 4k. Uh, okay, we didn't see any performance increase at all. Uh, it might be that it hasn't applied. I'm just going to reload my save and uh, that'll probably make sure that the settings are applied correctly. All right, so I just uh, reloaded my save and uh, we are now back in the 80s. Uh, just to make sure we are actually running at uh, 4k very high ray tracing is enabled and we are running DLSS quality. Right, let's uh, reset those uh, numbers and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so we're still staying above uh, 60 frames per second, just dropped below 60 there. Remember the system requirement sheet, that'll show you uh, about 60 frames per second average and we can see that we are getting above uh, 60 frames per second average. As I noticed, it did drop down a little bit below 60 uh, for a, a second or two. It's not, uh, it's definitely not game breaking or experience ruining. So that's actually pretty good. You can see that the GPU usage is still uh, sitting at uh, 98, 99% uh, usage. As you can see, we are getting above uh, 60 frames per second um, for an average. Let's see if we can prevent the dips below 60. So we're just going to enable uh, balanced and this should upscale from 1080p, I believe. Right, and see, once again, we are down into the 50s and our GPU usage is uh, sitting 
snugly there at 99%. So once again, the settings obviously didn't apply. So I'm just going to reload my save. All right, so we just uh, reloaded the save again, and uh, we are seeing uh, quite a quite a big improvement here. We are now sitting. Well, I was uh, talking way too too soon. We are still just uh, above uh, 60. We are averaging. 76 at the moment but uh, that should go down as we move around more well we are getting uh, a bit of a higher average the 1% and 0.1% loads are pretty much uh, the same as with the uh, DLSS uh, quality but we can see that we are getting about um, maybe a 7 to 10% uh, increase by going from DLSS quality to DLSS balanced but then again personally when playing at this resolution, I would just uh, disable ray tracing altogether. As personally, I just believe currently the performance set is just not worth it. But the system requirement uh, sheet didn't lie. You can play this game at 4K 60 frames per second with uh, ray tracing enabled. You just have to play around a little bit with your DLSS setting. And as we saw, DLSS quality was enough to keep it above uh, 60 frames per second average. But uh, DLSS balanced was needed to prevent any dips below 60 frames per second. All right, and uh, that's it for this uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one.